Hello, Giorgio Romanich here. Welcome to Fundamentals of Weather and Climate. In today's video, we are going to talk about Earth's energy budget. And more specifically, we are talking about annual global average Earth's energy budget. This video is not necessarily that easy because there are many numbers and processes we need to quantify. But if you followed my previous videos, then you will see that this naturally follows. Because in the previous video, I defined the solar energy budget at the Earth's surface. Now we are extending this concept and we are not talking only about solar energy budget at the Earth's surface, but solar plus terrestrial Earth's energy budget. Now, just in the pre as in the previous video, we are going to look into an imaginary surface at the Earth's surface, and this represents annual global average. And here somewhere, let's say, we have the top of the atmosphere. Now, at the top of the atmosphere, we receive the 100% or 100 units of radiation from the sun. And these 100 units in absolute number are equal to solar constant. We know that solar constant is 1,300 67 watts per square meter. But we don't deal with this number. We say that this amount of radiation is equal plus 100 units. And now we can break apart these 100 units into different components. Now, let's look into right part of this figure when we talk about energy that the surface receives and let's look into the left part of this figure when we talk about the amount of energy that the surface loses. Now, first, surface gains energy from this solar radiation. And in the previous video, I showed to you that the amount of energy that the Earth's surface receives through direct and diffuse solar radiation is equal plus 51 units. So plus 51 units of energy is received or absorbed by the Earth's surface from this number. But now we are introducing terrestrial radiation and radiation from the atmosphere. In addition to this short wave radiation, the Earth's surface also receives approximately plus 96 units of long wave radiation from the atmosphere. Now, from the atmosphere, that means from the gases in the atmosphere, predominantly water vapor and carbon dioxide, as well as clouds in the atmosphere. Now, First time when the students or people see this, they say, how is this possible? If you get plus 100 units, 100%, how can you gain here more than 100%? Because this sums up to more than 100. If we stop here, there is no way to explain this part of the energy budget. But we cannot stop here. To explain this number, we have to look into the amount of radiation that our atmosphere absorbs. And our atmosphere absorbs radiation through the following processes. Four of them. One is part of radiation of this number is directly absorbed by the atmosphere. So let's say here, atmosphere will absorb, we know from previous video, plus 19 units from solar radiation. Then atmosphere will absorb from the Earth's surface radiation through conduction and convection. And uh, we often represent that through these arrows like this. So atmosphere will absorb about seven units plus seven units of radiation, uh, sorry, of energy through conduction and convection, which means Earth's surface will lose these seven units. Remember, left side is the amount of energy Earth's surface loses, 
this is amount of energy or radiation that the Earth's surface receives. So this is convection and conduction. Then we also have evaporation of liquid water from the surface. Let's represent it like this. Water that is evaporated at the, at the surface of the Earth using this energy is condensed in the atmosphere in the amount of plus 23 units. Which means Earth's surface loses these 23 units. Very good. Further, the so first process, second process, third process, and the fourth process that heats up the atmosphere is the infrared radiation radiated by the Earth's surface. Now, Earth's surface emits long wave, oops, long wave radiation, as I discussed numerous times in my previous videos, and part of this radiation does not interact with the atmosphere, typically in the atmospheric window, you will remember, between 8 and 11 micrometers, but rather escapes through the atmosphere into the outer space, and that is approximately 6 units. Negative 6 units escape right away into the, atmosphere, uh, into the outer space. However, part is absorbed by the atmosphere. How much is absorbed by the atmosphere? About, about 111 units of energy is absorbed by the atmosphere, which means negative 117 units of energy is lost at the Earth's surface through infrared radiation. Now, let us sum up how much energy Earth's surface loses and how much energy Earth's surface gains. Let's see these three numbers. 117 plus 23 plus 7. 7 and 3 is uh, 10 and 7 is 17. 2 and 1 is 3 and 1 is 4. So Earth loses negative 147 units of energy. How much Earth gains? Well, well, let's sum up these two numbers. 96 plus 51. 6 and 1 is 7. 9 and 5 is uh, 14. So we get here total gain of plus 147. This is key. Notice that Earth loses 147 units of energy and Earth gains 147 units of energy. So in terms of energy equilibrium, everything is fine. We do not absorb more than what we emit. So how do we now going, go back? How do we explain this number? This number comes from radiation emitted by our atmosphere. An atmosphere gains energy that is used to emit this radiation through absorption of solar radiation, absorption of uh, long wave radiation, conduction and convection of heat, and latent heat associated with condensation. Kindly note, this is amazing, that our surface is more heated from the energy that atmosphere radiates towards the surface than what the sun radiates at the surface. You, we see that from the sun we get 51 units, almost double we get from the energy that atmosphere re-radiates. Where is that energy coming from? Well, I can repeat myself. It's coming from here. 30 units is coming through the processes of uh, conduction and convection and uh, condensation or latent heat released, 111 units through the absorption of long wave radiation and 19 units through the absorption of short wave solar radiation. Now you might say, huh, okay, but 
are we, we, you demonstrated, you convinced me that we are satisfying energy budget at the Earth's surface. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I want to see that if we received 100 units, that somehow we have to lose 100 units. In other words, if this is the energy budget at the Earth's surface, demonstrate to me that the energy budget at the top of the atmosphere is such that we have plus 100 units reaching the top of the atmosphere and negative 100 units leaving the top of the atmosphere. No problem, I say. I can demonstrate this to you. You see, part of this energy that the atmosphere absorbs is radiated back to the surface. But part of it is radiated up because these clouds and these molecules and atoms in the atmosphere they don't know whether they want to radiate it back or up so they randomly radiate up or down some of it is radiated down 96 units but some of it is up how much is radiated up what is this number well we can find this number this number needs to be part of the total energy that the Earth's atmosphere receives. And how much energy Earth's atmosphere receives? Well, it receives 111 plus 19 plus 23 plus 7. 7 and 3 is 10, and 9 is 19, and 1 is 20. 2 and 2 is 4, 5, 6, 1. So, we can see that Earth's atmosphere gains plus 160 units of energy through conduction and convection, uh, condensation or, or uh, latent heat warming from the, under, from the surface and warming through shortwave radiation. Well, that means this gain of 160 units is such that 96 is radiated towards the surface and then we have 160 minus 96 6 to 10 is 4 9 so this is uh, <clears throat> 6 so we get that minus 64 is lost upward so the atmosphere loses 64 units of energy radiating it into the outer space. And now let us see if we are satisfying the energy budget at the top of the atmosphere. We received plus 100 units. We received plus 100 units. How much did we give back? 64 and these 6, so plus 6, 64 plus 6 is 70. And now you look at me and you say, ha, mistake, you made a mistake. You gained 100% of energy, you gave back 70. Your calculation is wrong. You wish. You wish. Don't remember, don't forget from my previous videos that albedo of the planet Earth is 30%. When I add 30% here, I get 100, or rather negative 100 units. What do I mean by albedo? Well, albedo, watch my video on albedo. But albedo is amount of this solar energy that is immediately being reflected back into the outer space. So out of these 100 units, immediately 30 units is being reflected out into the space. Some of it from the atmosphere, some of it from the cloud, some of it from the Earth's surface. How much from each of these components you can watch in my previous video. So look at this. Minus 6, minus 30, minus 64 is minus 100 units. Plus 100 units. So our energy budget is satisfied at the top of the atmosphere plus 100 minus 100 
and our energy budget is satisfied at the Earth's surface, minus 147, plus 147. This is the most comprehensive video on YouTube on the Earth's energy budget. You should know this just like your ID. Until next video, goodbye.